धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति धातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्त फर्स्ट फ्यू करेक्श दिस नारायण नराण अयन अयन दिस प्रातिपदिक राइट अयन विच इज लुडंत एंड लुटप्रत्य जनरली इन भावे व्युत्पत्ति यू सी एंड करण अधिकरण ऑल्सो वेन यू सी इन भावे व्युत्पत्ति दैट टाइम इट हैज टू बी न्यूटर इट हैज टू बी नपुंसकम बट इन अदर केसेस इट कैन बी एनी ऑफ द थ्री जेंडर्स हाउएवर वन थिंग आई फॉगॉट देर इज इन वेन एवर ल्यूट इज यूज एस्पेशली ल्यूट अदर्स ऑल्सो बट मोस्टली ल्यूट इट इज अकर्तरी कारके संयाम एंड संयाम देर मीन्स दैट सच अ वर्ड शूड एक्जिस्ट हियर एज्यूमिंग दैट अयन वर्ड एक्जिस्ट आई मेड दिस दैट पुलिंग आई इज पॉसिबल बट आई चेक दप अयन वर्ड इज नॉट देर सो आई कॉन्ट मेक अयन एज इज इट हैज टू बी अयनम एंड इफ एट इज इफ इट हैज टू बी अयनम देन दिस के नॉट बी दिस इट 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 वोट बी अ षष्टी तत्पुरुष आई कैन मेक अ डिफरंट विग्रह वेर अयनम इज एन अधिकरण व्युत्पत्ति एंड इन अधिकरण व्युत्पत्ति इट विल बिकम अयनम यत्र और यस्मिन 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 सह सो दिस विल बिकम बहुरी एंड इट विल मीन दैट वन वन सेवेन बहुरी विच विल मीन वन इन हूम देर इज एन हु द अबोर्ड ऑफ बींग इज इन हूम सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू ट्रांसलेटेड लिटरली सो फाइनली द मीनिंग विल बी द सेम who is the abode of or who within him uh, so uh, ayanam would be a abode or a place refuge where someone takes refuge so unto whom people take ref- refuge so it will be unto whom uh, the beings take refuge so that's how the meaning would be and uh, if you have to translate it we'll still keep the translation same because literal translation in english would not look good so it will still be the refuge of beings so that's one correction the other correction last time we saw something where uh, yeah rakshanartham so i was explaining this rakshanartham i don't remember what i said here as in uh, i was explaining this uh, uh, for the purpose of as in the chaturthi kind of an artha tadarthya chaturthi kind of a meaning comes in here and there are two ways to make a vigraha one is either a chaturthi uh, where it is a little different from the uh, the uh, vigraha vakyas we had seen and uh, there had pointed out since when artha is used that time you can have a different vigraha basic vigraha if you consider it as a bahuri then it would be uh, it would be uh, rakshanam sorry rakshanam रक्षण और रक्षण रक्ष लेट मी चेक द जेंडर सी जेंडर इज एन इश्यू विच जेंडर टू यूज इज अ लिटिल ट्रिकी अनलेस वी आर वेल वर्स्ड विद दी साहित्य काव्य इत्यादि आई एम नॉट सो रक्षण आई वॉन्ट टू सी वेदर इट हैज अलिंग पॉसिबिलिटी रक्षण 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 इज लुट सेम as that but rakshana whether word exists it is kriba uh, rakshana in with liu you can get but we don't want liu kartari we don't want so it has to be neuter so i'll say rakshanam i just cross checked in the dictionary so it would be rakshanam artha and artha cannot be in uh, uh, neuter अर्थ अर्थ इज घई सो नो युच सो सेम फैमिली युच सो देर यू विल गेट पुल्लिंग 
and it cannot be artham with the same meaning that we have I think uh, let me check uh, artham yeah I think it cannot take uh, artham will not be in the same meaning so we want this meaning of purpose artha is equal to prayojanam so artha is equal to prayojanam prayojanam yasya saha so that which uh, and yasya uh, saha or it can be saha also or tat also and then second case it would be tam so tam rakshanartham so here this is not uh, first case it is second case and it is like an adverbial meaning the second way to do vigraha vakya here is rakshanaya simply rakshanaya because that artham this artham that you see here artha that is showing the tadarthe chaturthi therefore vigraha vakya will be a little different it will not be sopada vigraha it will just be rakshanaya where artha is dropped which indicates uh, tadarthe chaturthi meaning so uh, this is the meaning and uh, elsewhere um, even this is this is used as a vigraha vakya rakshanaya ityartha and this will be second case because first case we already have this uh, uh, it is not in samana adikaranam so i uh, while explaining this i missed the case because i had written i, I think i had made a mistake while explaining rakshanaya as tadarthe chaturthi i wrote 41 first if i remember and i corrected that to 11 instead of 21 it has to be second case okay so moving on uh, was there anything else no i think that's about it i don't recall anything so let's move further the introduction further said saprayojana bhave api bhutanu jigrukshaya vaidikam dharma dvayam arjunaya shoka moha mahadadau nimagnaya upadidesha upadidesha uh, gunadikaihi hi gunadikaihi hi grihita अनुष्ठा सो हियर ऑल्सो अयोजना स्वप्रयोजना भाव अभी गृहित अनुष्ठीयम चर्म प्रचय गमिष्य तम धर्म भगवता यथोपदिष्ट वेदव्यास सर्वज्ञ भगवान् गीताख्य सप्तभ श्लोकशत उपनिबंध उपनिबंध सो हियर वन वर् वी सी हियर उपनिबंध यू सी दिस दिव्य बंध बंध शब्द यू सी एंड बंध हियर इट इज बंध धातु विच हेज टेकन दिव्य एंड वेन इट टेक्स दिव्य उपपूर्वक नीपूर्वक बंध धातु एंड वेन डज इट टेक दिव्य इन लिट लकारा सो दिस इज लिटल आकार सॉरी ओके बरा क्रैस्ट जस्ट अ सेकेंड टू डी स्टार्ट बरा सो दिस इज लिटल आकार प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन उपनिबंध हु भगवान सर्वज्ञ भगवान वेद व्यास उपनिबंध हि सो एक्चुअली आई वेन्ट टू दि सेकेंड सेंटेन्स तम धर्व सो आई शुड हैव फिनिश दिस फर्स्ट ओके सो गमिष्य गमिष्य इनफैक्ट इट इज अ कंटिन्शन देर इज नीड नॉट बी अ फुल स्टॉप और अ कॉमा हियर सो वॉट आर दि वर्ब्स हियर यू लुक एट इट उपदिदेश सो उपदिदेश ऑल्सो यू सी द्वित्व लिटल आकार सेम एज दिस उपदि हियर लिटल आकार प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन सो हू इज द सेम भगवान सो अरियर इन कंटिन्शन विथ हियर भगवान कृष्ण सो हियर यू सी द कृष्ण what does he say he, uh, what did he do he taught upadesha so upadesha you remember the word upadesha and 
in little akara upapurvaka dish dhatu this is to direct to show and upapurvaka this is to teach so upadidesha in little akara is parokshelit so he taught who taught bhagwan bhagwan krishna taught to whom arjuna arjunaaya so when you say upadidesha he taught first you have to look for karta karta doesn't seem to be here in the sentence so you have to assume this see lokanugrahan lokanugraham kurvan lakshyate who dehavan eva somaya the same parmeshwara bhagwan and he is uh, he has taken the avatar of krishna so you have to bring the anuvrutti of the karta from here and say that same bhagwan krishna upadideshe taught so if you have got the karta now in the kartari prayoga whom did he teach so uh, teaching is given unto whom so there sampradana chaturthi so you see sampradana chaturthi will be arjunaya so arjunaya sampradana arjunaya upadidesh who bhagwan uh, krishna and who is this arjuna he is nimagna nimagnaya who is immersed to nimagna is completely immersed immersed in what so therefore saptami is there is an akanksha of saptami he is immersed in what in mahadadu shoka moha mahadadu mahad mahadadhi is the uh, ocean and what kind of ocean ocean of shoka and moha so shoka shoka shokancha moha moha cha it will become dwandva and shoka moha tadeva maha mahadadi so that itself the ocean of either you say shashti where shashti will be raho shirava shashti or you make karma dhaya dharaya between this dwandva and here uh, mahadadi so it will be dwandva uh, it can be itaretar dwandva or samahara dwandva also here shoka moha uh, but we can say uh, itaretar dwandva shoka mohau shokancha mohancha shoka mohau and shoka moha after that shoka moha eva mahad so in the form of therefore this will become karma dharya after that and earlier it was said here that it is for lokanugraha why did he uh, take avatara jata eva dehavan eva jata eva because it is for lokanugraha for the welfare of the world now uh, <coughs> shoka moha dadau nimagnaya arjunaya upadidesha he taught what did he teach vaidika vaidikam dharma dvayam so karma apeksha is also there vaidikam so this will become dvitiya dvitiya vibhakti vaidikam dharma dvayam which which dharma earlier it was talked there are two dharmas pravrutti marga dharma and nivrutti marga dharma therefore dharma dvayam are those that he taught and which are vaidikam which are in vedas and here uh, so I, i went back here lokanugraham so it was for the purpose of others means what there is no selfish purpose krishna had nothing to gain so therefore swaprayojana abhave api swasya prayojanasya abhave api therefore two shashti is here shashti tatpurusha and another shashti tatpurusha for due to abhava so uh, even even when so sati saptami here sati saptami even if there is api even when there is abhava absence of what absence of prayojana purpose any prayojana for himself so swasya prayojanasya abhave api therefore two shastis then bhutanu jigrukshaya here this will be this is tritiya it is feminine tritiya ek vachana and here it is hetau tritiya for the so karana hetu takes tritiya or panchami here bhutanu jigrukshaya and uh, jigruksha is um, the, here also you see dvitvam jigruksha this is sananta like mumuksha mumuksha in third case will become mumukshaya and here this jigruksha jigruksha is bhave vitpatti jigruksha is the pratipadikam Uh, anujigruksha 
भूतानुजिग्रक्षा the entire pratipadika in the samasa is bhutanujigriksha and taya bhutanujigrikshaya this is grahadhatu so it has taken jitvam because it is sananta it is sananta dhatu and samasa would be jigriksha so grahitu micha and here grahitu micha would be in order to teach only that kind of meaning should be there here so let me see if there is a better meaning hmm. taking so anujigrikshaya uh, uh, so jigruksha has a meaning of see grahitu micha so grahitu micha would be to uh, take control and take control here uh, would be through this teaching so i don't know how you will translate it but uh, mm, uh, even if there is no uh, prayo own prayojana although there is no purpose for his own selfish interest still for the purpose of others so the same idea lokanugraha itself the idea is uh, pa paraphrase in a samasa as bhutanu jigrukshya so that uh, to take control with a, with the purpose of taking control of things so uh, the teaching is for that purpose and here he starts by taking control of of dharma and earlier it was said the dharma is declining and adharma is coming up therefore bhutanu uh, jigruksha will have that meaning of uh, seizing control with the desire to seize control that is the meaning here and uh, bhutanu jigrukshaya anu will govern second case but uh, this we need to uh, think about mostly it will be saptami uh, bhutesh uh, anu jigruksha so i think i'll mark it as saptami but other may I, other meanings may be possible i think so bhuteshu anu jigruksha that is bhutanu jigruksha and taya bhutanu jigrukshaya uh, but i put a question mark uh, should be thought as to what meaning because i need a uh, uh, we'll see the complete construct and then uh, if some other uh, meaning comes up we'll see so vaidikam dharma dvayam uh, arjunaya what kind of arjun nimagnaya so uh, in what shokamoha dadhu nimagnaya arjunaya bhagavan krishna upadidesha why saprayojana abhave api bhutanu jigrukshaya and what did it is vaidikam dharma dvayam uh, upadidesha so here if i have to do a do an anvaya i'll be saying uh, karta has to be supplied so i bring the karta from the earlier sentence bhagavan bhagavan sorry bhagavan upadidesha upadidesha this is the basic sentence and i have to supply what upadidesha what did he teach and he taught vaidikam dharma dvayam to whom arjunaya arjunaya what kind of arjuna you qualify by visheshana nimagnaya who is immersed immersed in what in in this shoka maho shoka moha mahodadhu shoka moha mahodadhu <laughs> so this much is done and then we say uh, we we can actually bring this word here shoka moha nimagnaya arjunaya bhagavan vaidika vaidikam dharma dve upadidesha then you can add this other so prayojana bhave api jinaya bhutanu jigrukshaya you can add here arjunaya shokamo dadu nimagna arjunaya so prayojana bhave api bhagavan so bhagavan 
वैदिकम धर्मम एंड हेतु कैन गो हियर भूतानुचिक्रिक्षा उपदेश ड्यू टू व्हाट रीजन ही टॉक्स दैट कैन गो सी देर आर वेरियस वेज टू मेक अन्वया यू कैन सी युअर कंफर्ट लेवल एज यू एज अ लैंग्वेज ग्रोज अपॉन यू दिस इज हाउ आई प्रिफर इट शोक मोह दधऊ शोक मोह महा महा दधऊ इज देर टाइप ऑफ यूर आई एम रीडिंग इट महो दधो इट शुड बी महा उधधी ओके महा उधधी वुड बी गुड I'm just checking if there is a typo. Mahodadi, so it should be uh, yeah, Shoka Moha Mahodadi. Okay, so that's all right. Um, this font is a little uh, difficult to read for me, especially these things. You know, uh, there is no uh, conjunct uh, consonants do not come up well in this. वैदिकम धर्मद्वय भूतानुजिगृक्ष उपदेश एंड फर्दर वॉट इज गुणाधिक गृहित अनुष्ठीयम च धर्म प्रचय गमिष्य एंड हियर गमिष्य दिस इज द रीजन एंड वाय डिड ही डू दैट वाय डिड ही डू दैट बिकॉज he says this is the reason gunadikai hi hi because i'm not been writing grihita grihita is actually grasp grihita anushtiya manacha dharma so uh, grihita can be said understood well understood because gunadikai hi uh, understood with the gunas adhika adhika guna सो गुणाधिक वुड बी कर्मधारय नो इट वुड बी षष्टी सो षष्टी गुणाधिक आई थिंक इट वुड बी गुणाधिक सो बिकॉज दैट धर्म अंडरस्टूड विथ दी विथ ऑल दी गुणाज दिस गृहित वुड बी अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड विथ all the and practice not only understood understood not only understood because karma karma dharma is karma and dharma just understanding of understanding of dharma is of no use practice of dharma is important therefore both are important you have to understand dharma and practice that which is practiced practice therefore grihitah gunadikaihi hi grihitah dharmah अनुष्ठीयम च धर्म प्रचय गमिष्य सो दैट अटेन्स दि स्प्रेड वॉट इज मेन्ट इज इट दैट कैंड ऑफ धर्म अलोन विल रीच अदर्स सो देर फोर हाउ शुड आई ट्रांसलेट प्रचय सो Prachayam would be um, gamishyati. It is for the gamishyati is little akara, gamdhatu. So will attain, will attain uh, little akara, little akara. It will attain. What will it attain? Prachayam. So therefore, this dharma, dharma will attain. Dharma is the karta of the sentence. Dharma will attain growth. so spread or growth gamishyati will attain will attain iti iti as in due to that reason you are giving a reason therefore because so because uh, because so iti as in you, you close the sentence by saying iti for what reason uh, because such and such condition and therefore this is how iti and then you can connect this iti with the next part of the sentence also therefore iti tam dharmam tam dharmam tam dharmam that dharma bhagavata yathopadishtam veda vyasah sarvajnya bhagavan gita khehi saptay shloka shati upanivabandha so upanivabandha upanivabandha is he um, 
uh, strung them together. So he st strung them together, strung together. What did he string together? He strung together uh, dharma. So this is the karma. That dharma he strung together or composed. Strung together in composition. So or composed, I'll, I'll just uh, composed. He composed that that dharma he composed. Therefore, uh, Veda Vyasa, Bhagavan Veda Vyasa, Bhagavan Bhagavan Veda Vyasa, Sarvajna, who knew everything. So he composed what? What did he compose? He composed tam dharma or strung together that dharma. How did he do that? Vaya. So, via this Kritiya Karne, through. Through what? Through Shloka Shataihi. Saptabihi Shloka Shataihi means through 700 shlokas. Through 700 shlokas which are called as Gita. So, this is Bhauri Gita Akhya Yasya. Gita, Gita Iti Akhya Yasya. So, this is um, Bhauri. Gita iti akhya yasya. Uh, Gita akhya hi saptavi shloka shatehi. Through 700 shlokas called as Gita. And uh, what is this? This is as taught. So as taught. Yathopadishtam is, is a samasa again. Uh, upadishtam anatikramya. That is the Vigraha Vakya for this and that we have seen as uh, Avyayi Bhava, Avyayi Bhava Samastha, Yatha Upadishtam and this will go in second case as taught, as taught by whom? As taught. Therefore, this Dharma, uh, Yatha Upadishtam. Tam dharmam yathopadishtam. Yathopadishtam tam dharmam. That dharma which is as taught by Bhagavan. Therefore, Tritya here by Bhagavan. So, I have not uh, written everything. Uh, you can fill in. Uh, takes too much time to just write them and then put them together. So, making this Anvaya, I will be saying first Bhagavan. Bhagavan. Sarvajnya, Sarvajnya Bhagavan. So Sarvajnya, all my Sarvajnya, Sarvajnya Bhagavan, Veda Vyasa, Veda Vyasa. What did he do? He uh, Bhagavata Yathopadishtam Dharmam Tam Dharmam. Dharmam tam or tam dharmam. Tam dharmam. Either way you can put dharmam. Uh, Gita khehi. Saptabhihi. Shloka. Shataihi. Upa ni mabandha. This is how we will fill in the, uh, the last sentence. This uh, and this will as uh, gunadikai hi hi grihita anushtiya vanacha dharma prachayam gamishati will remain uh, as is. So whatever is as is, I will just mark it as dot 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 iti. Iti and therefore Sarvajnya Bhagavan Veda Vyasa Bhagavata Yatha Upadishtam Tam Dharma Gita Khe Saptave Shloka Shate Upani Vavanda. Any questions here? Okay, I just come to the questions. Let me open Gita till then. Hmm. 
Yeah, and what is the question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, in, in the second sentence, yeah. uh, Upani Bhavanda, uh, so, so the karta here is Bhagavan Veda Vyasa, huh? Yeah. And uh, the karma here is the is uh, Gita Kyaihi Saptidhi Shloka Shataihi. No, no, no. Karma is Tam Dharma. How Tam can dharma. Gita ki, I, I already said through. How can true, true and Tritya be uh-huh. karma here? Tam Dharma. Yeah. That's why I went uh, in that order of okay. Upanivivanda. Karta is here. And uh, so this will be what? This will be through Karne Tritya. Through. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was just confused about. Yeah. Through, so, so through 700 verses. Okay. Okay, this is when Upopada What I left off, Upopada Tatpurusha. Nya, you see, Nyadhatu. Nyadhatu has become Nyaha. So the, uh, it loses his uh, Akara. So Sarvam. Um, sarvam Janati Iti Sarvajnya Upavata Purusha, you see the Dhatu itself. Where you see the word ending with the Dhatu itself, there uh, the Sarva, the earlier one is an Upapada here, Sarva. You cannot make Nyaha uh, just like that. It can be done, uh, but there is uh, some other methodology. But usually you cannot get Nyaha as it is. You'll, you'll need a uh, an upapada and here it is karmani upapade karmani upapade sampratya upapada krit pratya will apply and it will make a upapada tatpurusha samasa and this we have seen this samasa is uh, in the prakriya avastha itself uh, you have to make the samasa it is not between two padas because nya nya is not a pada the dhatu nya which loses its akara it is not a uh, it is not a padam yet and but sarvam is a padam and samasa is between two subanta padas in upapada tatpurusha it is an exception it is a uh, samasa compound between a padam which is an upapada and a dhatu with a krit pratya so uh, that is how the samasa is formed and that dhatu plus krit pratya cannot give you a standalone padam it is it can uh, give you a padam only in a compound when there is an upapada. This is a, just a refresher. Okay. Uh, everything else is uh, clear here. So let's go to the next part. Okay. Let's see this part. Further, he says. Uh, tadidam Tadidam Gita Shastram Samasta Vedartha Sara Sangraha Bhutam uh, Durvidni Artham Durvidni Artham Okay, uh, long uh, Tadidam Gita Shastram Samasta Vedartha Sara uh, Sangraha Bhutam Durvidni Artham uh, Tadartha Vishkaranaya uh, Avishkaranaya Ane, okay. Ane kaihi vivruta pada padartha vakhyartha nyayam api. Nyayam api. Atyanta virud, uh, atyanta viruddhane kartha tvena lauki kaihi grihyamanam upalabhya. Aham Vivekataha Artha Nirdharanaya uh, Artha Nirdharan Artham Sanshepataha Vivarnam Karishami. So this is Bhagavan Bhashakara is saying that. Aham Karishami. Aham Karishami. I will do. Will do what? Vivarnam. I'll, I'll do elaboration. Means I'll elaborate. I will elaborate. So Vivarnam Karishami or I'll elaborate briefly. Uh, elaboration and uh, brief elaboration they seem contradictory or vivaranam can be taken as uh, 
I, I will write a commentary. So that I will make a commentary but a brief one, Sankshep uh, Vistarane also, elsewhere he will elaborate but he started with that Sankalpa, what am I going to do? I will elaborate this and briefly I will try to do, wherever needed he is going to explain. So Tadidam Gita Shastram, this scripture which is Gita Shastram, uh, we can say Gita Iti Shastram, Gita Iti Shastram, Karmadharya, Gita itself is a Shastram or make a uh, Madhya, uh, Madhya Lopa, this is Madhya Pada Lopa and say uh, Gita Akhya Shastram or something like that. Tadidam Gita Shastram, that so Tadidam, Tat Idam, Tat Idam Gita Shastram, Samastha Vedartha Sara Sangraha Bhutam, so Samastha, Samastha Vedartha, Vedartha is also a Samasa, Veda and Artha there are two words, Vedartha Sara Sangraha Bhutam, uh, this is a little difficult Samasa because there this Bhudhatu, uh, this Bhudhatu uh, is not a uh, Bhu Sattayam, uh, this also has the meaning, this is uh, uh, Praptam, the Bhudhatu here is I think is ninth Gana, in ninth Gana you have uh, Prapti Artha, so Bhutam has to be converted into Praptam in, in Vigraha Vakya and then it will become like a Dvitiya, Sangraha. Sangraham Praptam, that is the meaning here, so I will not give the uh, Samasa here because Sangraha Bhutam is a difficult Samasa to understand. The way you translate it is that that which is in the form of, Bhutam as in that which is in the form of, which is the form of what? Samastha Vedartha Sara Sangraha, so that Gita Shastram, that Gita Shastra which is this Gita Shastra right now being discussed in the context, so Tat, Tat is what has been discussed earlier, Saptabhi Shloka Shatai and now which is going to start, so that which is mentioned in the earlier paragraphs that is Tat remotely placed and Idam which is following now, remotely as in in the earlier sentence and here Idam as in with what is going to follow now soon, so therefore Tad Idam in Samadha Dikranam, what is being talked about here this uh, uh, as Gita Khehi Saptabhi Shloka Shatehi whatever is said that itself, so Tat refers to this Shloka Shatehi what has been composed and that which is going to follow is the same Idam Gita Shastra follows. And what is that? That is Bhutam in the form of Sangraha, in the form of uh, collection. Sangraha is a collection, collection of what? Collection of essence, Sara, collection of uh, essence of Vedartha. Vedartha here, this Artha is not Prayojana, purpose here. Artha here is meaning, so I, I have to split this, I will have to say Artha. Artha, Vedartha, so Vedanam Artha, meaning of the Vedas, the, the essence of the meaning of the Vedas and just a part of Veda, just the Karmakanda or some part, no, entire Vedas, therefore Samastha Vedas. Between Samastha and Veda, it will become Karmadharya. So you start from here, Bhutam. This is, as I said, it is difficult. So you can't really call it uh, Dvitiya Tat Purusha, but it is like a Dvitiya Tat Purusha. Sangrahatvam Praptam, because Sangraha takes a Bhava Nirdesha. Uh, don't focus much on this Sangraha Bhutam Samasa, because uh, it is difficult for a lot, uh, many people do not know, uh, in fact our Acharya had to sp spend a lot of time, he spoke to his uh, teachers and found out how to make a Vigra Vakya, because Vigra Vakya you understand that is sufficient, what kind of Samasa, drop that idea. So uh, you start by saying Sangrahatvam, Sangrahatvam, because our idea is to understand what the Samasa means. What name that Samasa gets is irrelevant. It is a Tatpurusha that is sufficient because there is nothing called as Dvitiya Tatpurusha, Tritiya Tatpurusha. These are our, uh, this is our nomenclature. That nomenclature does not exist in the Vyakrana Shastra. Panini Maharshi does, uh, does not call it as a Dvitiya Tatpurusha Tritiya. We mark it as 3 TP, 7 TP for our understanding. But uh, if we understand that is Uttara Pada Pradhana, Tatpurusha, our job is done. So I'll say, Sangrahatvam, the understanding for this will be Sangrahatvam Praptam, Praptam that is the Samasartha here, Sangrahatvam Praptam and that which has attained, 
that which has attained sangrahatvam. Sangrahatvam is as status of uh, a sangraha, a composition. So that which has is a composition. Praptam means what? That which has attained the status of a composition or a, a collection. Collection of what? So therefore, Shashti Tatpurusha here. So earlier to this, I'll say this is Shashti Tatpurusha. Because Sangraha of what? Sangraha of uh, Sara. Uh, so that which has attained the Sangraha of Sara, essence. Of what? Again, essence of what was also Shashti. Because Akanksha is essence of what? Therefore, essence of uh, Sangraha of Sara of Artha, of meaning. So therefore, uh, here you have got Sangraha of Sara, Sara of Artha. And then artha of what? Meaning. Meaning of what? Meaning of, again of Akanksha is there, meaning of um, Vedas. And what, which kind of Veda? Entire Veda, not a part of it. Therefore, Karmadharya. Karmadharya, Shashti Purusha, another Shashti Purusha, yet another Shashti Purusha, and thereby we land in finally in this uh, Samasa Sangratvam Prapta, like a Vitya meaning. Because prapta, once you have prapta word as meaning for bhutam, then you can have, uh, I think, dviti, um, yeah, prapta pannehi. So, therefore, this will become dvitiya by meaning. So, this is uh, dvitiya and then there is, this is what is called as bhava nirdesha. Sangraha has taken bhava nirdesha tasya bhava, that is what is called as bhava nirdesha. So, Tadidam Gita Shastram Samastha Vedartha Sara Sangra Bhutam. What is that? Durvidni Artham. Durvidni Artham. Tadarthavishkaranaya Anekaihi Vivruta Padapadartha Vakyartha Nyayam Api Atyanta Viruddhane Kartha Twena Loki Kaihi Grihamanam Upalabya Aham Vivekataha. Artha Nirdharan Artham Sangshepata Vivaranam Karishyami. So I will, uh, I hope you got this, so I will not write this Karishyami. I will, uh, I will explain it, I say, I can say explain it briefly. Artha Nirdharan Artham. Artha Nirdharan Artham to S. Artha Nirdharan Artham. This Nirdharan Artham, you see the Artha here. This Artha is Prayojanam for the purpose of. So either you can explain this as Artha. Arthasya Nirdharanaya or you, so this is Shashti here and this will become the Chaturthi Artha which is, can be said as Artha Nirdharanaya or you can say so Arthasya Nirdharanaya or Arthasya Nirdharanam uh, Artha Yasya. So Arthasya Nirdharanam Artha Yasya. Bahuri also you can say the same as what we saw earlier. Basically Nirdharanartham is like a Tadarthi Chaturthi meaning. For the purpose of, you will say, for the purpose of ascertainment, nirdharanam, of what meaning, which was said to be difficult here, durvidnya. Durvidnya artha means durvidnya uh, artha vyasya, same as this. Here, artha nirdharana, that which is difficult here, durvidnya is dukhena uh, virni, uh, vidnyayam artha yasya. Yasya kasya? Gita Shastrasya. That Gita Shastra which can be understood with a with great difficulty. So to understand this Gita Shastra, there is great difficulty. This is in Samana Dikaranam with Tadidam Gita Shastram Samusta Vedartha Sara Sangra Bhutam Durvidni Artham. So this is also Bahuri Durvidyam uh, Dukhena Durvidnya. You do expands to dukkha. Uh, so, durvidniya is dukkha is with great dukkha, there is not sorrow. Dukkha is with great difficulty. With difficulty, uh, the, the meaning of which is difficult to, to know. And tadavishkaranaya, uh, avishkara is, is for it to be, uh, to, to research it. Avishkara, you say research. So, anekaihi. Anekaihi tadartha vishkaranaya vivruta pada, vivruta pada padartha. Padartha is also pa, padasya artha and here artha is meaning. So whenever you come at artha, 
you have to understand whether artha is meaning or artha is purpose. We saw uh, earlier as purpose and then as meaning. Here we saw this artha is meaning. It does not mean purpose. But when you see at the end of the pada, where it is like this, druvidni artham, there it becomes uh, purpose. This artha means for that purpose. And here it is meaning, vedasya artha. Vedasya artha is not purpose of Vedas. It is meaning of Vedas. Here also it is padartha. Padartha is uh, the meaning of Vedas. So, uh, vivruta pada padartha. And here you see ta. So, when do you get uh, nishtha in puro pada? So, quick question. When do you get nishtha in puro pada? What kind of samasa? Yes, Anand? I thought you had a question or a comment. Anyone? Where do you get nishtha in the puro pada? What kind of a samasa is an indicator of? Okay, you can think over. We will move further. So, vivruta, vivruta pada padartha vakhyartha nyayam api atyanta viruddha aneka viruddha atyanta viruddha and aneka aneka artha aneka artha artha vattvena so atyanta viruddha extreme opposition as in it's completely opposite meanings uh, Gita Shastra is so difficult it can bring out totally opposite meanings if you do not have the right understanding of what the Shastras say because it is a it is an essence of everything if you do not have a vision of the Shastras then Gita can be confusing they can have so arthavatvena uh, arthavat arthavat is matup aneka arthavatvena atyanta viruddha and aneka arthavat with many meanings having many meanings and so arthavat so artha artha asya asti iti arthavat matup arthe uh, matup which has makara has become vakara so arthavatvena aneka arthavatvena with many meanings and which are opposite also. So, Atyanta Viruddha and Aneka Artha. You can make Atyanta Viruddha Artha and Aneka Artha. Thereby you can make Dvandva there. Viruddha and Aneka Artha. Atyanta Viruddha. Extremely opposing meaning. Viruddha you can say contradictory. Extremely contradictory meanings and many meanings. Having many meanings. So, therefore that kind of Shastra, this is the reason. Durvidniyam is what? This is the Durvidniyatvam. So, Atyanta Viruddha Aneka Arthavatvena Laukikaihi Griyamanam. Griyamanam understood by Laukikaihi, by those who are not trained. So, as, for, as far as the Shastra is concerned, as far as the Shastra is concerned, they don't know Laukika. So, Laukikaihi Griyamanam Atyanta Viruddha Aneka Arthavatvena Griyamanam. As uh, understood, as having different meanings, various meanings and even extremely contradictory meanings, that kind of a work it is. And Vivruta Pada Padartha Vakyartha Nyayam. So Vivruta is uh, Vivruta Pada Padartha uh, Vakyartha Nyayam. Here Vakya again Vakyartha. Vakyartha is same as this uh, Padartha. Padartha is word, Vakyartha is sentence. So, Vivruta pada, pada Padartha and Vakyartha, Nyayam. That kind of a work which has uh, Anekaihi, Tadartha Avishkaranaya, Anekai, Vivruta Pada Padartha, Vakyartha, Nyayam Api. Even if it is, uh, so Nyayam you can take uh, uh, logically expounded, the meaning, sentence meaning is expounded and uh, the uh, word meaning is also explained. So, basically whenever somebody writes a commentary, that time the padachhed has to be done, each word is to be explained. So, Vivruta, it has, it has been elaborated. And through logic also, lot of uh, stuff is explained using lot of tools. Then you put together Anvaya in various ways and analyze. 
pada meanings are analyzed vakya meanings are analyzed and they are put together in various combinations to make multiple senses so therefore uh, that kind of vartad avishkaranaya for the purpose of research of that research or to find out the hidden meaning so this is the meaning of tadartha avishkara tadartha tad here is gita again gita shastra arthavishkaranaya anekaihi by many vivruta pada padartha vakyartha nyayam api although uh, it is expounded with uh, various uh, uh, analysis of the word and meanings uh, of of words meaning of the words and the vakya sentence meaning of the sentence is also even then api atyanta viruddha aneka arthatvena laukikaih griyamanam upalabhya having uh, so upalabhya it has attained so uh, it has uh, having attained having attained what the understanding by the people laukikaih as contradictory even if it is expounded by many anekaih uh, so you just uh, compress this into the commentary commentary which is with uh, pada padartha and vakyartha so anekaih expounded by many even though expounded by many for the purpose of uh, finding out the uh, uh, the uh, re for research purpose or finding out the inner hidden meaning still what upalabhya ha it has attained having attained uh, uh, understanding by so uh, very difficult to translate it word by word uh, i'll give you the bhavartha bhavartha is what you can make out the bhavartha api even if it is commented in various ways by many to find out the truth i'll just put it simply to find out the truth still what atyanta viruddha aneka arthatvena laukika higriya manam so uh, understood by the people by the worldly people as what even if it is explained in various ways uh, who have themselves tried to find out the truth but still those acharyas themselves are confused because whatever they have said they are not uh, the the meaning is not really understood because they are atyanta viruddha extremely contradictory and aneka artha arthavat arthavan they have different meanings also therefore people who approach that kind of a study which is contradictory and has many meanings it is difficult to understand therefore riyamanu upalabhya having attained that kind of a situation now so this upalabhya aham uh, viveka because he has reached that status as in he has seen that all the commentaries or all the contradictory explanations given by various darshanas so darshanas mimamsaka darshana uh, nyaya vaisheshika sankhya yoga all these people have tried to explain it in various ways and upalabhya uh, that kind of a status it has having attained that status aham vivekata what he is trying to do is he is going to discriminate be between those and see where they are lacking fill those up so aham vivekata vivekata is uh, is a tasil but vivekata panchami or third tritya uh, or panchami both are possible and it is a tasil anta so it's an avyaya vivekata uh, so we can say panchami tritya uh, tritya uh, through discrimination so am um, through discrimination between so he'll help you discriminate between what is right what is wrong among all of these works then what is that with discrimination for through discrimination vivaranam sankshepata vivaranam karishyami i will uh, comment briefly for what purpose artha nirdharanartham to so here you see artha nirdharanartham there is one artha here and there is another artha in the end artha nirdharanartham this artha and this artha have different meanings the word, the meaning of this artha is meaning sense and here artha is purpose prayojana so here artha is artha meaning here it is purpose for the purpose of ascertainment of the meaning of the right meaning vivekata discrim discriminately i'll comment on this so this is how this sentence goes uh 
let me see whether there is any compl anything complicated or easy that if I can do in a minute. Tasya se gita sa samshe pata prayojanam param nishresam sa hetu kasya samsarasya atyanto uparam va lakshanam. So next further he said Tasya se gita shastrasya of that Gita Shastra which is this following Gita Shastra Tasya Sankshepatha Prayojanam Param Nishreyasam Sahetu Kasya Samsarasya Atyanta Uparama Lakshanam So what is the Lakshanam? Lakshanam of Gita Shastra Sya Lakshanam Kim With that Akanksha he writes What is the characteristic of that Gita Shastra? He is already begun He says that I will do Vivarana briefly And he says what he starts by saying what is the characteristic of that Gita Shastra? Atyanta Uparama Lakshanam. Characteristics is uh, Uparama, withdrawal, Atyanta, Samsarasya, Atyanta Uparama Lakshanam. Withdrawal characteristic of that is what? Uparama. Uparama is cessation. You not withdrawal, cessation here. Cessation Atyanta. Atyanta is complete. Complete cessation, the characteristic of that Gita Shastra which is following Asya, that is cessation, cessation, complete cessation of what? Of samsara. And what samsara, but what about its bija? Samsara bija will remain. So he says, sahetu kasya. Sahetu kasya is sahabhauri. You see kapratya here. Saha, hetuna sahavartateti sahetu kam. Sahetu kasya samsarasya. That samsara along with its cause. So, the characteristic lakshanam, characteristic of Gita Shastra se lakshanam kim atyanta uparam lakshanam. Atyanta uparam lakshanam is, uh, it is uh, complete cessation of samsara along with its, uh, along with its cause, which is avidya. So, avidya, cessation of samsara with its cause, which is avidya, and tasya se gita shastra, sorry, gita shastra, sankshepata prayojanam. So, uh, lakshanam can go later, prayojanam. Asya gita shastra se prayojanam kim? Prayojanam is lakshanam. So, all are in samana dikranam. Prayojanam, purpose is sankshepata prayojanam. Briefly, if I have to tell you what is the prayojana, uh, purpose of this gita shastra. It is param nishreyasam sahet. So, uh, in fact, prayojanam is param nishreyasam nishreyasam. Param nishreyasam nishreyasam is, uh, nishreyasa is moksha, liberation. And param, the highest, highest freedom. Highest freedom which is characterized. So, rather saying that Gita Shastra se lakshanam, Gita Shastra se prayojanam is lakshanam. Prayojanam is param nishreyasam which is uh, atyanta uparama lakshanam. I'll revisit this sentence. Uh, I I should not have started analysis here because uh, I said Gita Shastra se lakshanam. It is Gita Shastra se prayojanam. Prayojanam is param nishreyasam and param nishreyasam is lakshanam. So we'll go stage by stage. Param, ni, param highest freedom is characterized by cessation, a complete cessation of samsara along with its cause. So, tasya asya of that Gita Shastra asya which is following, Sankshepata, briefly what is the prayojana, what is the purpose, the brief purpose I will mention, he says, Bhashyagara is param nishresam, is the highest liberation, meaning highest param means what, from that kind of moksha from which you will not come back, unlike the moksha of others, other sampradayas or other darshanas, where you go to Swarga and come back, you go to Vaikuntha and come back, you go to Kailasa and come back. So all sorts of muktis which are talked about in Puranas, which are Sarupya Moksha, Sarupya Mukti, Salokya Mukti, uh, these kind of uh, muktis are there which are temporary. But this Nishreyasa, this Mukti is not temporary, Param Nishreyasam, that is the purpose of Gita Shastra. And uh, what is this Param Nishreyasa that is Lakshanam characterized by? So Lakshanam, Lakshana Yasya, Bhauri, uh, Prayojanam is what? Uh, prayojanam is 
लक्षणायस्य सो अत्यंत उपरम अत्यंतम उपरम लक्षणायस्य यस्य प्रयोजनस्य स प्रयोजन दैट प्रयोजन प्रयोजन इज वॉट तत् प्रयोजन तत् प्रयोजन अत्यंत उप अत्यंतम उपरम लक्षण लक्षण यस्योजनस्य तत् प्रयोजन अत्यंत उपरम लक्षण एंड विच इज परम निश्रेयस और वी कैन से निश्रेयस निश्रेयस दैट निश्रेयस परम विच इज हाइएस्ट लिबरेशन दैट इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय सेशन ऑफ संसारा कंप्लीट सेशन ऑफ संसारा अलॉन्ग विथ इट्स कॉज दिस इज हाउ द सेंटेंस गोज विल स्टॉप हियर एंड कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हाउ ओम तत्सत एनी क्वेश्चन Anyone else? Okay, so I'll uh, see you in the next part. Huh? Sorry for some of the errors today, and uh, last time also I had to make some corrections. Uh, so is it resolved now? Rakshanaartham is the question resolved or is still there? रक्षणार्थम इज रक्षणाय और रक्षण रक्षण अर्थाय इधर बहुरी और चतुर्थी तादर्थ चतुरी चतुर्थी कर्ण फन अन्वया एज अ मीनिंग फॉर दैट नॉट एन अन्वया एज अ विग्रह और मीनिंग फॉर दैट ओके नमस्ते